But the track will come next, and it's the second semi-final of the men's 200 meters T36. This features the London 2012 champion, Roman Pavlik. Well, there was a missing Malaysian in the first semi-final, but not in the second, as Mohamed Matlazin is here, and he's in a very decent form. We've seen him already in the 100. Uh, set his lifetime best this year, 27.10. National colours, Malaysia being yellow, as they are for Colombia. Juan Moreno Marquez of Colombia. Mike Metlazen, 23 years old. And like Metlazen, a uh, personal best set this year, 26.66. Evgeny Svetkov of Russia, very good athlete. We've seen him already this week. Uh, there's very good potential for him to pick something up here. It was bronze in the 100 metres for Graham Ballard. Silver in the 100 at London 2012. He finished fourth in this 200 there. The London 2012 champion. Reigning world champion. Roman Pavlik of Ukraine. Paralympic Games. Four gold, one silver, two bronze in history. Benjamin Erban of Slovakia is in seven, and Tommy Chasanov of the United States is in lane eight. This the T36 category, men's 200 meters. That's a decent, strong field in this. 27.40 is the target for the fastest losers in this. The first three go through, plus the next two fastest. It's Matlazen in two, Moreno Marquez in three, Svetkov four, Ballard five, Pavlik six, Urban seven, and Chatanov of the United States is in lane eight. 26.1 so why is winning time in the first semi-final. They were held a long time, but they're away the first time of asking. An absolutely blinding start by Pavlik. Ballard going well also alongside him for Britain. Lane six and five, the ones to watch respectively. And Svetkov's coming good as well. And it looks like it's going to be these three. And Svetkov is barring away ahead of Ballard and Pavlik. And Svetkov looks as if he's going to take this up for Russia. And he knows how far ahead he is, so he's going to ease up. And now here come Pavlik and Ballard. And it's those three. And it's 24.93, which is very impressive. Championship record it is for Evgeny Shvetkov, and he could have gone a lot further, but he had the wisdom and the knowledge just to ease on the brakes. I would say with 40 meters to go, Ballard was second, with Pavlik in third, and that looks like a very strong final. And so are why it was 26.1 seconds in the first semi-final, and Shvetkov. Well, he had a look around there. He'd about 50 minutes to go. Knew he was well in front. Knew there was nothing to be gained from breaking the world record in the semi-final. So he just eased down a bit. And Ballard in the dip got past Pavlik and did well. Well, 24.92 was the winning time in the end of the world records, 24.65. And he was on the brakes in the final 50. I think it's going to be a very, very fast final. One to look forward to, definitely one to relish. And already today, in only the second track race of this afternoon session, a championship record for Evgeny Svetkov of Russia, 